Welcome back to my channel. I've got to figure out how to do this video because I tried to film it yesterday and I got all done with it. Only liked half of it. Wanted to refilm the other half of it and then I sliced my finger open. Ended up in urgent care for two and a half hours and then got a tetanus shot so now my arm hurts. So I haven't been able to wrap my head around the other half of this video. So the reason why I wanted to do this video is because we kind of have a surprise for you just to watch, but we have a surprise for our kids. It's going to be fun. It's going to be really, really fun. And you're going to find out what that surprise really is in, I think, two days, two videos. You're going to find out. But we're excited to tell our kids, so we don't want to tell you before we tell our kids. So you're actually going to get to see us. You get to see the reveal or whatever. Tell our kids. So, um, I, you know, if you are new to my channel, I like to clean and that's probably how you found my channel. So welcome to a cleaning video. If you are already one of my subscribers, um, you know that I like to do haul videos and we like to travel and we like to do that kind of thing. So we're adding that to this video. Um, this is kind of a mash of everything. Kind of a mash because when you travel, it has to, you have to do so much. And when you are kind of obsessive, like, me, I need to have my house clean. I need to have things packed and prepped. I need to have things to travel with Little that are boxes easy. boxes checked off on our list. Yep, I have my list. I have like 20 different lists in here, which is one of the things I'll talk about. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna let you go and look at the things that I did yesterday to clean my room, because I cannot travel if my house is dirty. There are like 10 cleaning videos before this video. If you have been watching here on my channel, I have been cleaning like crazy. One, that's just my nature, but when I travel, my whole house has to be clean before I leave. That's just like me. I have to do that. So that's why there have been a lot of cleaning videos. So I cleaned the room yesterday and then I needed to finish packing, but it's really difficult to pack for six people when your children can't find out. <laughs> and my, I, I only have a two hour chunk of time during the day, twice a week, where my one daughter is not with me. But my friends have been nice enough to watch her and have play dates with her a few times because they know what I'm trying to do. And so I've been able to get some of the packing done. So let's go. Let's just jump right into it. So I cleaned my whole house. You just saw all of that cleaning um, just here in my bedroom. But if you want to check out other cleaning videos, you can go and there, it's like the rest of the channel basically. So what I wanted to do is talk about some of the things that we take with us on tr when we travel and 90% of them come from Amazon. So let's talk about the packing cubes first. Oh, this is just one of them. Okay, so I'll insert a clip of the rest of these little packing cubes in the suitcase so I don't have to get them all out. Um, this is the largest one of them and it's, it's huge. But there are four other ones and they kind of go down in size. This is the shack pack? Yeah, shack pack. And it was a five pack of these little cubes um, for $24.99 and I got these last year when we traveled and now I want to get more of them for the other suitcases because they I mean, it's just nice because you can pull all, pull them out and you don't have to worry about You know the things falling out of your suitcase if security wants to check your bag It's or... like the way I like to eat my food. I like all my food not to touch. That's the way she does most of the rest of her life Yeah, I need things compartmentalized. So if you are like that get these packing cubes anyway, I really like them um, this is, is this yours or is this mine? So this is my bag and it has, you can show with I mean, we're gone, we're going to be gone for nine days. So it packs up really good. You layer it up. This is all of my clothing. This is my shirts, my pants, my shorts. Um, and then I have another small cube that has my underwear and socks in it. He has the medium one for his clothing and so then, I pack light. yeah. Um, he packs light. I just like to look cute. So, um, <laughs> anyway, so really quick. It makes it nice when you get to the hotel. You, you just, just pull this, this out, out, shove it in the drawer. I mean, it does make stuff real nice. I like when he admits that I'm right. <laughs> okay, okay, next thing. What's next? So, I'll talk about my notebook while he gets the next thing. Um, one, I like to do my notebooks. If you haven't seen these, I get them from TJ Maxx. So, not only do I do a list before I'm traveling, but I also already have my grocery list for Costco made up and my meal plans made up for when we get there so that we can quickly go to the store, no question about what we're getting, don't go over budget, which is kind of a big thing when you're traveling, and then 
Um, we already know what our meals are for the week. Set five or six meals and then... The way we're doing is we're going to a place with a kitchen. Yeah. It makes it way nice. It cuts the cost big time. You don't have to eat out all the time. So we can like eat two or three meals there every single day and then take the kids out for a special treat meal every, every couple days. Um, but it does cut the cost. Well, we can talk about that in a different video because we actually are going to do a Costco haul while we're there. So stay tuned for that one. So notebooks and lists are really nice. So one thing that I like to have when I travel, and I keep this all year round, I got it last year, um, not just because we traveled, but because I don't like to drop my phone. He gets really mad when I break my screen. <laughs> I've broken it a couple times. So for like $6.99, I get these cases on Amazon, and the case is pretty decent because it's nice and plastic, but I don't have to get the, you know, the otter boxes that are $40, $50, um, because I never drop my phone anymore. I always put it in this little ring, and I never drop my phone. You can hold kids. Yeah, you can hold kids going through security, trying to show them an e-ticket on your phone, or you know, trying to get on a train or whatever. Um, it just makes it really easy. You can take pictures really quick um, and not drop your phone. So anyway, ring case from Amazon. And then the next thing that we bought last year, I do have some things that I bought this year that I'll show you. But this one is kind of my favorite thing electronic wise. Um, I kept put all of our electronic kind of our gear, cords. cords and things in here. There's one little pocket that I don't have anything in yet. Um, like I said, we can't pack some of this stuff because our kids, they will know. I have a daughter who, her attention, attention to detail is like mine. Um, so I have all the power cords here, um, some earphones, this it's is a good, Kindle like, cord. If you have a kid that's into those, what are the DS's? Uh -huh, you can put your games, DS games in here. Perfect for that. Um, and then my SD cards go in this little spot. And then I have pockets. So there's a lot of different compartments in here. There's a second one here in the back that has room for my S my external hard drives. They're gonna go right here and right here. So it's pretty handy. I think this is for um you could put You could put an iPad in the back of it if yeah, you wanted something to. Something like that. Um so it's just really handy to have. I just slipped this right into my carry-on backpack. And then if a kid needs a power cord for their iPad or I need one for my phone, I can just grab it out and there's no more putting power cords into baggies. Yeah, that things, aren't, things aren't spread out. They're all together. So it makes it nice. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing is some items that I have gotten for the kids. We um, try to give each kid a backpack. Yeah. They each have their own backpack. Again, I can't pack my oldest two kids backpacks because when they're, they're not using them for school, but they... They'll notice. They'll notice. It's just, they're weird. They just, they're yeah. like me. They're observant. They're observant. So we'll talk about that one in just a second. So I got these on Amazon this year. Um, and if you didn't know that three of our girls have April birthdays. And so this is just an added bonus to their birthday present that they don't know about. Two of them have already had their birthday. So they're going to have these in their travel bags um, when they find out that we're going. And... Um, Anyway, I'm excited to show these to them. So they're not going to get wrapped up or anything, but they're just going to be in their packs. So it's this cool little headband, and the cord is kind of wrapped in that, I don't know, cording, I guess? It's soft. It's like a, a, a fabric cord. Yeah. So it's a little bit more durable than your regular, you know, your regular phone cord. But the speakers are inside the headband. It's cool. Yeah. So they just put it over the top of their head, and then they can lay down, they can lean against a seat or a car seat. Um, and they don't lose the little earbuds out of their ears. Okay. Yeah, they hate the big headphones that go over the top of their ears and their head. So these ones I'm really excited for them cozy, to try out. Cozy phones. Cozy phones. And there's a bunch of different knockoffs. This is the brand that I saw on Facebook that took me to a link on Amazon. All of the kids are going to have little activities. The two younger ones are going to have a little game, a little toy, a little Moana. Oh, it's a Moana. Again, that's for her birthday as an extra little birthday present for her. Um, and then I have coloring books and some markers. But that's a lot of snacks. And I can't stand when you have snacks on an airplane and then they have all the boxes and they only eat half of the snacks. Um, and they put the goldfish wrapper back in the backpack and then the goldfish spill and then you have crumbs and then where's my snack and all that kind of stuff. So he doesn't think this is going to be a completely good idea. 
and I kind of agree with him, and I will give him credit if this ends up being a fail. And you will find out in the future video if this <laughs> ends up being a fail. So we're doing like the old people with the pills? Yep, we're gonna do snacks. We're gonna do snacks for the kids. Yep. So I'll put the raisins and the goldfish and all the different snacks. I'll put a fruit bar in here, granola bars. Um, so we're gonna take this and put it in there? Yeah, but this is for like two kids plus some for later. Okay. So they're gonna put it all in here and it... My only worry is that they're gonna spill it all over the place. Rather it's my than worry taking too. each individual bag and spilling it one at a time. But what I've noticed with my kids, and I don't think it's the same with yours, they won't eat all of one thing. They'll eat half of the raisins, and they'll eat half of the granola bars, and that drives me nuts. And then it doesn't close, so this has some good potential. So, it, it fits on the snack tray on an airplane, it can fit into their backpack if we're going to go on daily road trips where we're going, but it's not just useful for the airplane, it's useful for, throughout the travel because they can pull this out if I tell them, I'm not packing snacks, you grab yours, put it in your backpack and get in the car. It has their name on it, and so I they will them. fight. That's just... I don't know if that's our kids or other kids, but it's kids. they need to know which one is theirs. Um, and then we have activities. We have activities. And to keep them from fighting, we have given them individual bags. Yep. And it's all about containment. And books to color. These were only a dollar. So So they each have their own backpack kind of catered to them. And so this must be the two younger ones. Yes, it is. The older ones I haven't done yet because they'll, they, find, they'll out. find out. All right. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to show you is the new one that we got on Amazon this year. I'll let him. You want to open it? You want to open it? This is like his favorite little toy. We have three of them now. We got another one this year. We found about these like before Years they ago. started importing to America. Um, oh, this must be one. Yeah, that before. So it is this these masks. So I don't know about you, but I am not a big um, snorkel person. Shoving that thing in my mouth, keeping that stupid thing hanging right. I'm claustrophobic. Uh, it never worked I out. I can't handle it. Um, and so we came across these, which are amazing. There's a lot of knockoff ones. Uh, we like the Triboard. That's the original maker of the it. The original maker, Triboard, uh, which I think has some new name, C something. But anyways, um, these masks fit over the kids' faces. Well, this goes on top. And then the little snorkel just stays in place. They're awesome. So if you are new to snorkeling, or things like that. These are amazing. Kids um, can use them. The kids put these on. We have one kid size and then two adults. So there's always at least one adult going with a child. And then our older girls can fit into the adult one. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're really, really good. The one thing, if you're a true snorkeler and you're going to swim down, they don't really work for that because I guess you can't pressurize your ears or something. I'm obviously not a big snorkeler, like a true one going down. Uh, that's the only drawback. But if you're just cruising along the top, checking things out, Amazing. These are awesome. So that gives you a hint about where we're going. We're obviously going somewhere warm. We're obviously going somewhere where we can swim. There's ocean. So you've got to stick around and watch. The exciting thing's going to be telling our kids and seeing their surprise. Yeah. Hopefully, they're I, not like, oh, okay, cool. I know. We but hope they're yeah. excited. I hope that they <laughs> haven't figured it out yet. Um, I've been trying to keep this a secret, but uh, if you want to stick around and watch travel vlogs from our family, um, seeing where we're going and see if that's somewhere you would like to go yourself. Um, we're going to do Costco haul of the things that we get while we're on vacation. And because it, the yeah. reason we'll do it is just to show like how you can cut the costs yeah. by doing the whole kitchen, get your groceries yeah. type thing. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I do the Costco haul because there's some extra things you can do. Yeah to save money when you're doing that kind of stuff when you're traveling, so stay tuned for that video. So here's the thing, I need you guys to subscribe. I know that you guys watch this video and a lot of you are not subscribed, so I'm gonna give you a second. You're gonna go and subscribe. We can wait, should we wait? <laughs> go and subscribe. And then also click on that little bell until there's a little parentheses next to it because YouTube is having a hard time with their notification bell and actually like notifying you if I post a new video, which I do five days a week. So we're going to give you a second here. Just go click on it so that we can get back to business. The subscribe thing? Uh-huh. Just hurry and go do it. Just down on the bottom? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So anyway, we want you to join our, our family. We have really fun videos coming up that are different than just cleaning videos. And Yeah, we appreciate you watching. Yeah. Uh, we just do what we do. We're not like one of those like 
life vlog videos, but we no. do a little bit of our life, a little bit of just regular watch stuff. So anyway, yeah. we appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your comments. So come and join yeah, us. Thank you. And we got some awesome crafts coming up this summer. Not crafts, but like projects. DIY He's excited projects. excited to get the yeah, tools, get the tools out. out. So my finger's doing better. If you don't know that, he drilled his finger a couple months ago. Yeah. And I cut my finger open. So <laughs> we're not a good team. Except we, we are a good team. We're a good team. We yeah, we did those by ourselves. We know how to go to urgent we did care that together. By ourselves. <laughs> We, if you we go to urgent care right. together, you can stay together. That's right. That's right? right. All right, you guys. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.